Right now on Live at 4, a major thoroughfare to Wisconsin's Northwood shut down today in Green Bay. It is the Leo Frigo Bridge spanning the Fox River just south of the bay. It's closed to traffic after a dip about three feet deep was discovered in the roadway. Here's a closer look at what we're talking about. The concern is that dip in the pavement. We have circled where the dip extends across all four lanes of that bridge. The big problem is I-43 goes over the bridge and about 40,000 cars a day travel it on a daily basis. Yeah, likely more on game days during hunting season and on holiday weekends. Vehicles are now being rerouted through downtown Green Bay. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation has crews inspecting the bridge. It is closed indefinitely right now. Governor Walker laid out the next step for the future of the bridge. We want to make sure uh, that we find out uh, what exactly happened and uh, not only what we need to do to correct it to make sure that bridge going forward is fully operational. This bridge does really uh, move traffic in estimated 40,000 uh, vehicles. But more importantly, this bridge is really important um, as we look to see what the investigation does um, entail our port um, and making sure that we can move goods uh, through the waterways. Could be months, could be a year. Construction crews completed work on the bridge earlier this year. The project included resurfacing the span, replacing bridge joints, and repainting steel support girders. Traffic cameras were also installed at multiple points near the bridge. Well, the bridge opened in 1981. As we mentioned, it carries 40,000 vehicles a day. The span is formerly known as the Tower Drive Bridge. However, the name was changed to the Leo Frigo Memorial Bridge in honor of the founder of Paul's Pantry in Green Bay. The bridge was last inspected in August of 2012. It is closed indefinitely. The